Hello and welcome back to another How To Django tutorial. My name is Tom with Mastercode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at class based detail view and function based detail views. Um, I'm not going to beat up the difference between classes and functions. We're just going to jump in and um, start coding. So, the first one we're going to take a look at is the class detail view. It's a generic view. And just like up here, we imported generic list we're going to need to import a generic detail view so let's get and just copy this we're going to see how fast we can write this detail view so all right generic detail and then change this to detail view all right cool so we imported it next thing we need to do is go ahead and copy this uh, view because the detail view is very similar only a few things will change for us to create a detail view first thing's going to change is we're going to change this to post detail view our subclass here and then our where we're inheriting from is in the previous one with the list view we inherited from list view but this one we need detail view just like that all right and then we're getting the model all right so nothing changes there and then down here we get the context and data the only thing that needs to change here is the super call and that's going to be post detail view all right cool we have just created a post detail view with a class base view in django and that was very simple and that's why class based generic views are so useful all right so we just covered that next thing we need to do is take a look at the function based detail view and what we're going to do here is we're going to use a um, shortcut a Django shortcut called get object or 404 so get object or 404 and what this function does is it allows us to either get the object from the database and if that object does not exist it will uh, handle the 404 error for us so it will point to a 404 page if you have a 404 template set in your templates all right let's go ahead and create that function we're going to call it we're going to define a function we're going to call this function post underscore detail and this function takes two parameters first one being request and we discuss what request is it gets the request from the urls.py file and the second one is going to be how are we going to figure out which object we want from the database we're going to use slug in this example you could use id you could use primary key you could actually use title if you wanted to but we will use slug all right next thing we need to do inside our function is set the path to our template for our post detail so we're going to set template is equal to and we haven't created this yet but blog forward slash uh, post underscore detail dot html all right so we went through that in other tutorial it's pretty simple and the next thing we need to do is actually get the object from the database so i'm going to create a variable called post and set it equal to um get object 404 and now this takes two arguments the first one being which uh table are we getting it from which model so post and then comma and then how are we going to decipher which object we want the exact object from that database we're going to say slug is equal to slug all right so the first slug is saying hey this is our um, parameter from the view function all right and the second one is hey get this match the slug to this slug all right from the post cool very simple all right next thing we need to do is set the context and we do that by doing context is equal to a dictionary in here we'll create a string we're going to say post colon post all right whoops that's a comma and then finally we just need to go ahead and return render and what render basically does is it packages it's a shortcut if you notice up here it's imported by a shortcut so it's a function that um, packages are at minimum I should say at minimum it packages our request and our template now this can be extended um, so we can include a context also we can include um, 
uh, content type, status, uh, and I don't remember the other one off the top of my head. I think there's another one. Using, maybe? All right, so if you want to read more about that, go ahead and visit Django documentation. But this shortcut helps us handle um, sending our response back to the urls.py file, or I should say not to urls.py file, to our users. All right, so let's go ahead and say request, and then we'll say template, and then context. All right, so that is our function-based view. We'll just review it one last time. We got post detail takes two parameters. First one being a request, it comes from the urls.py file, and the slug also comes from the urls.py file. We'll take a look at that shortly in one of our upcoming tutorials, actually our next tutorial. Uh, the next one is template. And this is just the path to our template. We have not created this template yet. It's called postdetail.html. And then we come down and we have a variable called post. We get object or 404. So we're saying, hey, go to the post table and get the slug that matches this slug that we passed into our parameter and return that object. So it returns that object and now post represents that object. And then inside context, we just say, hey, post is post all right so that's how we're going to get our data in our template all right and we return render which is pack patch packaging a http response and it packages request and template and context as well so if you guys have any questions please let me know otherwise i'll see you in the next tutorial where we take a look at the urls.py file